I'm going to try and give you a little bit of a good news story. The drug lecanemab has been heralded as a breakthrough, a massive breakthrough in the fight against Alzheimer's by attacking the buildup of protein in the brain of sufferers of the disease. So the drug was found to have reduced the rate of cognitive decline by 27% in a study of 1,795 volunteers that lasted 18 months. It's hoped that the drug can provide some much-needed hope to the half a million people in Britain with the disease. And it really is an absolutely shocking, debilitating, horrendous look. We all know, don't we, what, one of the worst, if not the worst, disease you can possibly get. Joining me now is Lucy Johnson, Health and Social Affairs Editor for The Sunday Express, friend of the channel. Now, it's great to talk to you about something other than the striking workforce or issues with the coronavirus vaccine or goodness knows what else or kids failing mental health. This actually is conceivably a good news story, is it not? Lift the spirits of the nation. Uh, it is on, on, if you look at it with your heart and you think, well, actually, it's brilliant news. It's the first time we've seen decades of depressing failures in Alzheimer's treatment and drugs. And we've never seen anything that actually slows progression of the disease. And it's the first time this has happened. So many experts that I've spoken to today say, yeah, it's the beginning of the end. Um, it's a breakthrough and, um, you know, it's, it's very exciting. Um, there is a, a sort of caveat to that, oh, but, um, you know, uh, well, it's not a cure. Um, and also there are concerns from the Alzheimer's Society that the NHS doesn't have the capacity really to treat all those eligible patients, probably only one to two percent of them. OK, oh, just just fill me in, just, mm. just just fill me in on this. Issue. So so presumably someone maybe who's got a family history of of Alzheimer's um, could get it or someone who's maybe showing the early onset signs of it conceivably. How, how does it work then? Is it in pill form? What is it? Uh, it's an infusion. And it's taken every two weeks, so you need the infrastructure and the staff to do that. It only has been shown to work in people with early onset Alzheimer's. Right. And we know um, uh, Alzheimer's is the biggest cause of dementia, and one in three people born today will get uh, a form of dementia. So it's a huge problem for the country and a huge drain. I think it cost £25 billion in caring costs in the country. So it is one of our biggest, uh, dra but you for, know, biggest forgive me, yeah. burdens. Forgive me for potentially, I don't know, lowering the tone as it were, but you just said there that, that one in three people born today will end up with some form of dementia. Here we have potentially a new drug that may well, whilst it's not a cure, could slow down that process somewhat. And we are hearing that the NHS might not have the capacity in order to administer that. One would have thought that this would become a priority. Well, to be fair, um, at the moment... Uh, it's um, it's not been approved, so that needs to it needs to be properly looked at. There are there have been sort of side effects noticed, and um, because you wouldn't necessarily pick up a side effects in, in a sample of one thousand eight hundred um, over a larger number, there may be more people. I know there was a couple of strokes on the trial, um, not necessarily statistically significant, but over a bigger sample. So we're, we're not there yet, but the significance of this is that it shows potential it's the first time we've seen the potential and yes you're absolutely right if there is a drug out there that can help improve the quality and of lives and the lives of sufferers and their carers we should be ready for a new era of mm. medicines like this